Now, as we're looking at this, one of the things that I want us to realize is basically where these numbers are coming from and how we're coming up with the items that we're putting where. So, when we compare these, again, there's a one, the two, the three, and then the four. So, let me clean this up and we're going to throw some numbers in here. And we're going to throw some numbers in here so you can start to kind of slowly understand where they come from. All right, in throwing numbers in here, let's start with actual costs. Our actual is, here's our fixed, and the actual went with rent was 390, and here's our variable, and the variable was 1.01 1 .01 at 97,000 hours. And this is actual. Where did I get it? Under the actual. Fixed rent, 390, variable electricity, 1.01 1 .01 at 97,000. So that's fine. Now, flexible budget, flexible budget. Let's look at our flexible budget equation, and I'll do that, and let's come over here. So our flexible budget equation is what? Equals fix plus variable times x. Now, if you're within the flexible budget equation, what is it? Fixed or fixed, variable or fixed, but it's the x that's going to change. The x could either be actual at actual or standard allowed for actual. Mm. So as we go through this, it's going to be your fixed based on your budget and your variable based on your budget and then it's either going to be actual at actual or standard allowed for actual. Now when we look at this, what is actual at actual? 97. What is standard allowed for actual? 96. Oh, so as I set up the flexible budget equation, Let's look at our budgeted numbers. Remember our budgeted numbers? Let's see, what was our budgeted cost in the notes? It said fixed rent was 400,000, which was four to 100,000, and variable was uh, 100,000, which was a dollar at 100. So when we set up our budget, we used these budgets. We said we have 100,000 hours, and we said rent is going to be $400,000, which at 100,000 is what? $4. And electricity is going to be a dollar at 100, which is 100,000. So our budget was 500,000. So when we set up our flexible budget equation, 400,000, which is the same as a dollar at, I'm sorry, which is four dollars at 100,000 direct labor hours, plus the variable is a dollar an hour, and we also thought it was going to be 100,000. Remember that was budget, but. In our formula, we're going to be using this plus this because within the flexible budget, fixed or fixed, variable or fixed, what's going to change is just the x. So it's going to be the fixed, which is 400,000 rent, plus a dollar, which was our budget, at, and what is our x going to be? Well, for the budget, it was 100, but if it's going to be actual at actual, it's going to be 97,000. If it's going to be standard allowed for actual, it's going to be 96,000. So let's take this over to my chart. So within the fixed, this is still 400. This is still 400 because fixed or fixed. The variable is going to be a dollar, a dollar. But what changes is since this is closer to actual, it's going to be actual 97,000. Yeah, let's do it this way. This one over here is closer to applied. We would have applied what standard allowed based on actual. We would have applied 96,000. So you can already start to see these numbers are different. These two are the same. These two are different. These two are different. Now, what would have gotten applied? What would have gotten applied is our predetermined overhead rate. And we would have said, how much is our fixed overhead rate? It's 400,000. We figure we're going to do 100,000. That's going to be what? $4 times what got applied? 96,000. This is going to be what? A dollar at what? 96,000. So as we go across, you will see here that we've got actual, because this is given. We've got your flexible budget. Flexible budget is fixed plus variable times and your X changes. Your fixed was 400, your variable was a dollar. Your X, if it's close to actual, it's going to be actual, 97. If it's close to standard, it's going to be applied, 96. And then what would have gotten applied is you would have taken your predetermined overhead rate of $4 an hour times your standard allowed for actual. 
a dollar an hour times standard allowed for actual. Now as you continue through this, what you're going to notice is the difference here, let's do that again, is what? Remember I said four gives you what? Three differences, one, two, three. This is SEV, spending efficiency volume. The spending variance is both fixed and variable because these are both different. This one is what? You actually spent 390, that's boom, favorable. So as we go this way, if this is bigger, it's good. If this is smaller, that's bad. So as we go this way, this would be what? A favorable $10,000 variance. This one's going to be, un, uh, this is going to be unfavorable because this is bigger than this. So as you look here, this is unfavorable by a penny times 97,000. Here, notice these two are the same. That's why this one's both fixed and variable. This one is variable only. Because notice these are different, that's the same. Why? Because within the flexible budget, fixed is fixed. Then as you come over here to the volume variance, notice these two are the same. The volume variance is all fixed. What does it say? It says we budgeted 400,000, which was what? Four at 100,000. That was our budget. But guess what? We only applied 90, what was it? 48,000 instead of 50,000 at two. So this was 48 at 2, this was 50 at 2. So what happened is we produced less, which means our overhead, our fixed cost, didn't get allocated. So what basically happened here is they're saying is that our fixed overhead did not get applied. It didn't get applied. Because, again, we should have used 100,000 hours in the factory. We only applied 96. We were underapplied by 4 at 4, 16,000 bucks. So you can see how this is both, this is variable, this is fixed. Then if you go to the budget variance, this is going to stay the same called volume or non-controllable because that one's hard to control. This is going to go from here to here. Notice these two are different. These two are different. So they like to ask about the budget variance. It's still both fixed and variable. Then at the very end, your net variance is from here all the way to here. Notice these are different, these are different, that's going to be both. So at the very beginning when we said we applied $300 but we actually spent $500, we were under applied by $200, this is the purpose of breaking it up to say the total here was $200 under applied, what happened, that's where you're breaking it up. So as you look through that, I know that it's tricky, I understand that it's tricky, but that's why we have to spend some time working through it. Because it does get tricky as far as understanding the concepts. That's how you have to work through it.